our 13th lesson final <coughs> forgive me that's cough about Santa Claus and the tags on the presents to your child's name from Santa you're a fool you earned the money not Santa Santa never worked I don't care about his elves I told you about the Nautilus. I told you about Admiral Byrd. They've been to the North Pole. They haven't found Santa in his elf. They haven't found the workshop. It's not there. In order to write Santa, you got to write to Alaska or Indiana. Or get a letter from New York. Lying to you that it came from the North Pole. When you mark that tag on that present from Santa... The imagination. You have dishonored your parental right to the credit. You worked for that money. You worked for that child. You bought that present. And plus, again, it takes the credit from God and passes it and passes it over to Satan. We are in a world today of identity theft. This man goes all over the whole world. Where's his passport? Show me his ID of the real Santa Claus that we've been studying about. Not some man that changed his name or was named by his parents standing for, for, for this car. Show me the actual documentation of this man. And yet there are Christian parents out there who give their credit to Santa. Exodus 20 verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visit the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. You see, great, 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 great grandparent taught great 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 grandparent great 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 grandparent to great great grandparent to great great grandparent to grandparent to parent to your child in 2016 that there's a Santa Claus. Santa Claus has been alive and well through parents talking to their children like the Roman Catholic Church. Most Roman Catholic churches are most Roman Catholics are Catholics because mom was a Catholic. Because grandma was a Catholic. Because grandpa, great grandpa was a Catholic. And great great grandparents were Catholics. And you pass that sin of Santa Claus and church on to your children. And God says, I will visit iniquity. I am jealous of that. You got to bow down to pick up those presents underneath that tree. Bowing down for a present is honored to God because the present is Jesus Christ, the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It comes from God, not from Santa. When you bow down that present, oh, thank you, Santa, for getting me the bike. Oh, thank you, Santa, for the toy. Thank you, Santa, for the, for the doll that wets her pants. No, thank you, Jesus, for giving my dad the ability to work. Thank you, God, for giving my parents that love me. Thank you, God, for loving my soul. I am not worthy, but you love me, God. Where's that thank of a child? From Santa, you lied also. When you say that present is from Santa, you are lying. Get the kids out of the room for a minute. Come on, you and me as adults. Did Santa really get that present? Really? And then you're lying. You are lying to your children. And then you turn around and tell your children not to lie when you've been lying. You're a hypocrite. John 8, 44, ye are of your father the devil. The lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and bold not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. Lies source is Satan. And when you lie to your child about who got that present, you are taking Satan's side. You're not taking God. God is impossible, incapable, and can never 
lie. That's Satan's job. And that Satan's got you lying to your child. And it says a murderer from the beginning. <coughs> your child, Christian, may never believe the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Because you lied to him about this man called Santa. If you lied about Santa, you may lie about Jesus. We've already talked about that in previous lessons. And if your child will never believe Jesus Christ because of a lie that you told them, you murdered their soul because eternal life is through Jesus Christ, our Lord. When you're in this thing, you're not in the spirit of Christmas. You are in the spirit of deception and Satan. <coughs> Forgive me, please. Exodus 34, 14, For thou shalt worship no other god. And we're going to see in a couple more paragraphs, Satan is God. You make Satan a god. Through Santa Claus. I keep saying Satan. Same thing. For the Lord, who is whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Christian, God gets angry when you turn yourself and your children over to Satan. It is wickedness. It is a sin. Imagine a holy God that loves you that went to Calvary is jealous. Husband, would you very much like for your wife to be in the arms of another man? To be receiving love from another man? Hmm? Wouldn't that get you a little unease? Wouldn't that? It should. I'm jealous of my wife. And that same attribute that God's given us men to love our wives and keep your hands off my wife. That is my wife. God says that to us Christians. Leave that God alone and love and embrace me. If you don't, I'm a jealous at what you're doing. And for Bible-believing Christians that believe in this junk of Santa Claus, you're making God jealous and he's angry. Put that one in your stocking. Put that one at the judgment seat of Christ and see where it ends up. Deuteronomy 5, 9. Thou shalt not bow thyself down unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, and the God, am a jealous God. Visit the iniquity of the fathers upon the children of the third and fourth generation of them that ate me. A child today knows Santa because of his parents. Because the parents knew because of the grandparents. The grandparents knew the great-grandparents. The great-grandparents knew the great-great-great-grandparents. <coughs> <clears throat> the great 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 grandparents know the great 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 grandparents and all the way down through the years that we've been studying this man this sin of this man has been carried down from from parent to parent to parent to your child today it needs to stop somewhere parents God says you hate him it is iniquity. Santa Claus worship goes from one generation to another generation, onto the next, onto the next, onto the next. Your your Christian house today may carry Santa Claus to your grandchildren, to your great grandchildren, to your great great grandchildren. And the Lord tarries. Some sins carry over. There's one sin I can think of right now you can carry on to your children and to your children's children and children's children. children. Sexual diseases will carry, carry over to generations. Santa Claus in the Catholic Church is a sexual disease that you can pass right into your children. Just like sex. Have sex with the wrong person and get a, get a VD. You can possibly pass that on to your children. How's that for a message? Nahum 1-2. God is jealous. You got it? Have you seen? And the Lord revenges. The Lord revenges. And is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversary. He reserves wrath for his enemies. And what's that for the Christian today? Wrath? Lake of fire? Absolutely not. 
but your works burning at the judgment seat of Christ, receiving no rewards, no crowns for this worship of a God. And you don't even know and don't even think about it as Santa Claus as a God until you have turned this video on or maybe other godly videos out there to proclaim the truth to you. Santa Claus is a God. And you need to turn to God the Father, not Father Christmas. Santa Claus and Satan is an enemy. They steal from God worship. They steal his worship and his praise. And you as a and some of you as a born again Christian allow it, you encourage it, and you are pleased with it. And it ought not be so. I hope these videos are, or at least maybe just this video, I hope it's making you wake up to see you're sinning. It's not cute. It's not just a little story. It's just not for the children. Here's another stolen item that Santa, that truly belongs to God and his son. I want you to pay attention to this part. I want you to listen. Revelation 1a, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, which was, which is to come, the Almighty. God will never die. So the question is, when did or when will Santa die? In the minds of human in the world, he'll live forever. Won't he? You won't go to the funeral of Santa Claus. He won't die. God will never die. And yet Jesus Christ died for our sins. Santa with no death makes him more. And I don't want to not reverence Jesus Christ, but Jesus never died. Jesus was sinless. He died for my sins. Santa's never died. That's on shaky ground. I'm not going to go any further about that one. Because I don't want to blaspheme Jesus Christ. But Jesus died on that cross for my sins. Santa's never died. For the wages of sin is death. <coughs> the sins that killed Jesus was my sins. It was your sins. Human sins. So if Santa's never died and will never die, he's not a sinner. Now I know there's cancers. I know there's poisoning. I know people are, are, are killed in, with guns. I know people are killed by being stabbed. I know you can go natural causes. But the main root, according to the Bible, of death is sin. Had Adam and Eve never sinned, we would not die. On every death certificate, there should be put on that death, that death certificate, death caused by sin as a result from cancer or whatever. The main cause of death is sin. And since, now listen to me, if Santa has never and will never die, the wages of sin is death. That makes Satan. Uh, that makes Santa sinless. You have just ranked Santa with God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Because they're without sin, they're not going to die. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And this man who doesn't die, and never will die, is associated with gifts. Now that's not stealing from God, and that's not stealing from Jesus Christ. What is? <clears throat> if that's not Antichrist, what is? Answer me. If Santa never died or will never die, and if he's listed as immortal, that makes him Jesus Christ. 
Santa becomes equal to God and the Son and the Holy Spirit by not dying. I'm going to die. You're going to die. Outside the rapture, the Lord tarries. Death will come. Why will death grab a hold of me? Because I'm a sinner. My nature is to sin. That's Adam's nature inside me. I will die. Mr. Hayward, have you done anything wrong? Absolutely yes. As a result of that, I'm going to die. It's under the blood of Jesus Christ. Still, my nature is I'm still a sinner. My heart is deceitful above all things. Who can know it? I'm going to die. Santa Claus. Where is his death? Sin brings death. And if he will not die, then he becomes sinless. That's equal to God. That's equal to Jesus Christ. That is equal to the Holy Spirit. Only Jesus Christ and God are sinless. And I can't, I'm stressing this point. I am laying this point out. I am saying it over and over and over. I want you to get the fact that, that this is true. Santa is sinless. Making himself equal with God. Because God and Jesus Christ are sinless. 1 Peter 1.19 But with the precious blood of Christ, as a lamb without blemish, without spot. 2 Corinthians 5.21 For he has made him to be sin for us. Now Christ became sin because of me. Not because of who Christ was. Who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 1 Peter 1.16 Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Your Santa practice makes Santa holy, and holy belongs to God, since Santa doesn't die. Now, if you were to have a funeral for Santa one of these days, at his death, he's a sinner. But no one plans on killing Santa Claus. How old is Santa? How old is God? When was Santa born? How was he born? When was Jesus born? And Santa is not sinless. He kisses your mother. Thou shalt not commit adultery. There's no business kissing your mother. He smokes a pipe. That's a sin. He breaks into people's homes through the chimney or however he does it. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not break into the neighbor's He's a liar and the father of lies. He promotes adults and children to lie. Lies, lies, liar. John 8, 44. There is nothing honest. 41 pages about this guy. He does not fit with mankind. A mortal, for the Bible says, Romans 3, 10. As is written, there's none righteous. No, not one. Romans 3, 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. He cannot die, and he doesn't have sin. So Santa is Jesus Christ, holy and sinless? I don't think so. But by the world's definition, they make Santa God. So Satan, I guess, like Jesus, has fame. Both have songs. They have poems, sermons. 41 pages now about Santa. And I could be teaching you about Calvary. I could be teaching about the death of Jesus, the burial of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus. I could teach you about all the places that Jesus has been. I can teach you about all the things that Jesus has said. I could teach you about everything about Jesus, but we've got to spend time about Santa Claus. Because Santa Claus is involved in some Christians' lives. Listen, if Christians didn't follow Santa Claus, I wouldn't do this video. This is not for the lost people. This is for Christians to get to know the truth and to walk in a way that they may have life. Because Christians are involved in this, I've got to take time from Jesus Christ, even though Jesus is in here, to teach about a lie. 
This whole sermon, this whole background, everything we've done, 41 pages, seven eighths of it is a lie. I've got to preach. I had to preach about a lie and teach you about a lie because it's involved in Christian lives. He's in movies. There are days set apart for Jesus and Santa. They're both found in church. Remember the, the guy that told his, the kids after the mass, who are you looking for? Santa. And he went in the rectory, got changed, and came out as Santa for him. They both have followers. And gee, even some of Jesus' followers follow Satan. Through, excuse me, through Santa. They both proclaim to have books written about people. He's making a list, checking it twice, to find out who's been naughty or nice. They both claim to know men's deeds. The eyes of the Lord in every place, beholding the good, uh, the evil and the good. Of the naughty and being nice. Children talk to and ask requests. Some to Santa, some to Jesus, amen. But more children seek Santa than they do Jesus. And you know that's true. Saved or lost. How much of this documented report that Satan and Jesus are alike by Santa Claus. 41 pages and I've shown you everywhere where Santa has imitated Jesus Christ or God the Father or the Holy Spirit. Now that's not a Antichrist. Not the Antichrist. But a Antichrist that John warns us about in his epistles. What is there else? I have not been teaching about Santa Claus. I have been teaching about an Antichrist. And some of you Christians out there, I mentioned here, Oh, I don't want the mark. Oh, I don't want it. Oh, don't put nothing in my hand. Oh, don't put nothing in my forehead. No, I don't want that. Oh, Santa. Santa Claus is coming to town. Here, Junior, here's a present from Santa Claus. Hurry up. we got to go to church soon. And you know I'm right. Listen, Satan has a great imitation, not the real thing. The real thing is Jesus Christ, as Coca-Cola advertises. The real thing. No. And I'm getting to wonder what the real connection of Santa will have with the Antichrist. Every year, millions, maybe billions, even NORAD seeks the skies to find Santa Claus and not Jesus. How many Christians seek Santa over the blessed hope? Revelation 12, 22, 12, and I behold, and behold, I come quickly. My Lord is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Rest assured in hope that Satan is not coming. For the Christian. He's coming for the world in the end cry. But for me, I'm not looking for Satan. I'm not looking for, for Santa Claus. My children are not looking for Santa Claus. We're looking for Jesus Christ. No, even the U.S. and Canada military says Santa's coming. And I say they are wrong. And they are lying to you. Because I want physical documentation of photos and everything that we can bring to a law court before a proper law judge that has not been bribed, that has not been swindled, that will hear the case and then proclaim <coughs> by the documented evidences whether Satan is real or not through Santa Claus. You can't bring Santa Claus in the courtroom. You can't call Santa Claus to the stand. You got him. He's out. There is none. You say you can't bring Jesus Christ to the courtroom. No. Jesus Christ will bring the courtroom to him. And you'll stand before him, the judge. And you'll have to give an account. How's that for a switcheroo? 
You won't judge Jesus Christ. He'll judge you and your Santa Claus. And you'll be found guilty and wanting. So who are you waiting to come? Looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13 Satan says, Santa's coming. The Bible says, Jesus is coming. The other day, well, when this was done, I was preaching on the street and I heard a man in no less speak, 2 Peter 3, 4, saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. You know, you keep saying Jesus is coming. He hasn't come. He says it's been 2,000 years. But why doesn't anybody question the coming of Santa? Why are they ready to wait for Satan more than Jesus? John 5, 43, I am come in my Father's name. Ye receive me not. If another shall come in his, in his own name, him ye shall receive. People anticipate December 24th, the, the night that Santa will come, over the time Jesus will come. Santa comes on a sleigh, or in a sleigh, Jesus will come on horseback. John 9 38 and he said Lord I believe and he worshiped him John 12 13 took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried Hosanna blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord when was the last time you saw a standing crowd in icy cold weather to see and hear a Bible believing preacher preach yeah, but they'll stand in New York City and all over America for Santa to come in the parade. And every Christmas, every every Christmas time, people will wait for him. Christians line the street to see Santa on or in a parade. Every Christmas parade has a Santa, but how many have Jesus? I thought it was supposed to be his birthday. How did Santa get the credit? It's not his birthday, but children lined the malls to see and to pray as petitions on paper or oral to Santa. But how many of those children show up in Sunday school class? Listen, Christian, you may hide from me. You may turn this off. You may say he's an idiot and all that. You may duck your pastor. But you will not hide from Jesus Christ at the judgment seat of Christ. He will not call you faithful when you got this in your life. He will not say well done when you have given the credit of Santa Claus over you and God. Because you made you made the money for the gifts. When your children worship Santa Claus more than you and more than God, you'll not get a well done. When you give his respect, his glory, and his honor to Santa, you will be made ashamed and you will lose rewards. If you had any coming. Reading a note here, I got here. Second Timothy two twenty. But in the great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also wood and earth, some to honor and some to dishonor. God has vessels which he uses. Every Christian is a vessel of God. Now, whether you can be used by God, whether you're clean to be used by God, but there is a vessel. Some vessels hold gravy. 
Some vessels allow you to take meat and potatoes and feed your face. <coughs> Some vessels carry water. Some vessels are, ooh, look, look, how, look how pretty and craftsmanship that made. Some vessels are hold the, the turkey at Thanksgiving. Some vessels are to hold oil. Some vessels are hold salt, pepper, and spices. Some vessels hold coffee. Coffee, the grounds. We're all vessels to God. A chamber pot is a vessel. It has use. They are called Christians. We are to obey or should obey what he tells us. Romans 6.22 But now being made free from sin, become servants of God. You have your fruit unto turn the page here. holiness and the end everlasting life. Christians, most do not do <coughs> What God and Jesus Christ tells them. I, there's things I don't do that God tells me to do. I have told God many times, no. Even I do it. And I disobey God. And I will suffer at the judgment seat of Christ. Losses. Unless I put it under the blood. Santa has servants and vessels. Elves. They do all that Santa tells them to do, at least in spirit. They work all year and obey Santa, so they say. They build toys for children, so they say. They don't even take the credit. The tag says from Santa, never from the elves. They are a happy little bunch of whatever they are, unlike the church. Now here's a newspaper report. D-U-N-N-E-L-L-O-N. -L -L Santa spies out and about Central Florida were caught on video checking in on a Marion County Police Department. The Dulian Police Department shared a short clip on Facebook of Santa's elves stealthily and not so stealthily sneaking out of a patrol vehicle. Read the spoiler alert below to find out how they got this video. <clears throat> Looks like our friends snuck into a patrol car while it was parked at the police department. They wrote in, in a post Friday. Surely they are looking to confirm Santa's naughty and nice lips. Keep reading if you want to find out how to catch Santa elves yourself. Want to make a video like the Dillian Police Department to share with your children or friends and family? Just download the free cam app I'm not even going to give you the name currently one available for the iPhone according to the website the Android version will be available this month the company not going to give you a name they developed the app with technology that lets them merge pre-made scenes and submitted photos to create the fun elf scenes the app comes with two free scenes and more can be purchased so we cannot produce physical proof of Santa but we can make up imagery of his elves now to go lie to your children friends and family just amazing our pa our public tax funded personnel such as the local police department cannot close a case they cannot solve criminal cases or thefts but can catch on video imaginary Santa helpers and one can purchase more scenery for this app on your iPhone Santa has a wife Jesus has a bride Santa's followers give him milk and cookies Jesus gives us milk of the word and the bread of life Santa comes through the chimney Jesus comes through the heart. Once more about Jesus and Santa, they are both very powerful men. How does Saint Santa enter the house without a chimney? Just like Jesus entered the upper room, John 20, 19. 
Then the same day at even, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst, saying unto them, Peace be unto you. Jesus and Santa do not need to work. That's it. Jesus and Santa don't need to worry about locked doors. So if Jesus is the reason for the season, why don't you believe it? I believe Christmas is 100% pagan and does not belong in the church of a Christian's life. But it, it, if it was Jesus, why is Satan more marked, more marketed, more influenced than Jesus? If Christmas is Jesus time. It's not Jesus time. But if it is, if Christmas is the birthday of Jesus, if Christmas is to be a holy day of Christians, why does Santa get all the landmarks? Because the season is of sin, wickedness, and is of Satan. And comes back to a Halloween, the dead body of Mr. Nicholas. Now, I'm not going to say Santa Claus is the Antichrist. But where is the line drawn? Reread this entire information about this one non-man. And if he's not God, and he's not, he must be Satan. James 4 17 therefore to him that knows to do good and doeth it not to him it is sin you there the you born again Christian you have heard this report you now know the facts there's the sources two pages of sources I have included names website page numbers and books you are without excuse and some of you will still continue to worship Satan through Santa Claus. I've laid out the sin of Santa. I have showed you that he is not God. But he's sure an imitation of God. He's not of God. But he's of Satan. He's a Satan's Christ. An Antichrist. And you are given a free will. You can choose who you're going to worship. But therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. You continue in Santa Claus, it will be a loss at the judgment seat of Christ. And let me conclude. Every name in this report will appear before the Jesus Christ. And either the judgment seat of Christ for the saved or the great white throne judgment for the lost. Christians will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. This report tells it so that the man Santa, Mr. Nicholas, Father Christmas, or Saint Nick, is and will be brought before God one day. You will be judged, including Satan, by being judged by the one that counterfeited by Santa Claus. As far as children with the Santa Claus, Matthew 18, 6, But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it'd be better for him that a millstone be hanged about his neck and that he, would be, that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. And I've, I've got two more paragraphs here, and I'm so sick of this man. You can download this on my website. I'm just sick of it. Partial page 43, entire page 44, and partial page 45. So I say two page, two full pages of documentation of my sources about this man called Santa. I hope you turn away from him and turn back to Jesus. This is the end of Santa Claus. Well, you know what I mean. Wish it was the end of Santa Claus and the beginning of Jesus Christ. But too many will keep on serving Santa.